All right, let's go ahead and get your dishwasher prepared. In addition to your dishwasher kit, you're gonna also need, the, the tools you're gonna need are gonna be a, I'm gonna use a 5 8 inch wrench to secure the stainless steel, uh, steel braided line. If you don't have a 5 8 you can also just use an adjustable wrench. So this is a 5 inch, 5 8 open wrench, or you could use this adjustable wrench to be able to secure that. You'll also need like a, a pair of pliers or a crescent wrench so that you can actually attach the fitting itself. And I'm gonna, I have a multi-tool screwdriver with a few different bits that we'll need to, in, in, in these steps, as well as an Allen key, and it's the 9 64th inch size. I'll try to show you that so you know what you're gonna need. Um, and that's actually used to level the back leg on the dishwasher. Um, so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna get your drain hose freed up from the back of the dishwasher. So get that freed up out of the way. And what we're also gonna do is I'm gonna find out where your water connection is made for the dishwasher is right down here. So you see this, oh, it might be in the way. Let me move that out of the way so you can see it. It's this guy here. Go ahead and get this removed for right now. And I'll, we'll walk through the steps. So this guide right here actually tells you specifically what size elbow you need and the steps on how to get that secured specifically. I'm gonna walk you through it but this also shows you a little bit clearer um, on what to do there. But first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get the dishwasher on its back. As you lay this down, just make sure you don't, you, you run the drain hose through the little channel on the back so that it doesn't end up on the back of the, uh, behind the dishwasher and, and crush it on. So. All right, we're gonna get started with the electrical. And I'm gonna show you here what we're gonna do. Because we're doing a direct plug-in, your electrical box is right here. So you wanna go ahead and remove this cover. And in our case, we're going to go ahead and attach the power cord and get that set up. So in this, once you remove that cap, you're going to find three wires. Your green ground wire, and then, then you have your hot and your neutral, so the black and white wires that you see here. So if you're doing a hard wire, you're not going to be able to do this step right now. It's, you're going to have to perform this step when the dishwasher is upright and getting ready to slide in. And the purpose of this, let me show you this track. Um, right here, along here, this is the track that you're going to be able to use. So if you're doing a hard wire connection, you're going to need to run the uh, electric line that's coming you know, from the back side of the wall, you know, behind the dishwasher. Just run it up through here, get it up to this box. And then you want to use like... Um, the, you're gonna need a, an additional part that connects to the ground, the the, the secures the, to the to this electrical box, and I'll actually include the description of, of the size that you'll need. It's just the ground that goes there. Um, on our power cord, ours comes pre-attached, so we you know we don't need that here, but I'll I'll include some details on what you'll need for the appropriate size. But let's go ahead and knock this out. Then this pretty much. As, as easy as it looks, um, all you're doing is connecting. It's important if you're doing a power cord, it's important that you just, you know, your, your, uh, these are cleaned up so that it makes a good connection with the, with the wire nuts. I like to keep them nice clean. And you're simply just going to fish that through this bottom part. Once this goes in, just clips in. And just like that. And then once that's in, you're just gonna connect your, make your connections. So black, of course, is gonna go with black, and white goes with white, and the green goes with green. In this step, what's really important that you do is make sure you have a, a tight connection with you know, nothing loose here, because it can short with the vibrations and the shaking of the dishwasher. You can short it if it's not a, a solid connection. So best way to do this is get your tips 
right in line with each other, get them as close as possible. You don't want to do any twisting, just get them close as you see there, and then use the wire nut to actually twist and make the connection. You want these to be as even as possible, so if you need to cut one down or trim it down a little bit, definitely do so in this step so that you have no exposed line. Just gives you a nice... So as you can see, just use the wire nut itself to secure, to make a, a, a tight connection. And to test it, just give each line a tug. Just make sure it doesn't break loose. So after you get it tight all the way through, just tug on each of those. And you're going to repeat the same thing for your white and your ground, your neutral and your ground. So same thing, just go here. Boom. That nice and tight. And then just make sure they're tight there. And finally we'll do the ground. Once that's all done, I guess double check all your corrections, they're good and tight. And you can go ahead and put the um, cap back on now if you're doing a power cord. Um, but, or typically I like to wait till the end to make sure that I don't have any issues. But we're going to go ahead and, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and put this cap back on now and get that ready to go. This goes back on and then it's. That's just a Phillips um, screw that's holding that down. Once you get that all connected up and you're getting ready to stand up the dishwasher, you can see these little flaps that are right here. There's two of them. This will make it a lot easier actually like that. This way the, the um, cord itself doesn't end up going whichever direction it wants, it'll keep it in line with this track. Now we're going to go ahead and make the water connection. So we're going to get back down here where I, we pulled this fitting off before. This is going to be the inlet valve for the water supply. You're going to see a little, some people mistaken it for packaging, but that little screen is actually there to protect the dishwasher from like hard water composites, so do not remove it. It is intended to stay there. You leave that alone. But in this step, what you're going to need um, is, and I'm going to just give you a show you here, we're going to need this fitting that was included with the dishwasher, the 90 degree that you're going to find in your dishwasher kit, as well as your stainless steel braided line. So the first step is going to be getting this attached with this fitting. What you're going to want to do is, your fitting is going to come similar to this setup. It's going to have the rubber seal, as you see inside, and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just pop out the gasket right from here and remove this, take this apart. All we're going to need from this fitting is actually this on this particular Samsung dishwasher. This is how all kits are going to come. You're going to see that it's a common thing. Samsung uses their own connection that secures to the inlet valve. And then what you're going to do is remove the, this seal from this fitting and simply taking this fitting, you're gonna run it right through here, and after you do that, you'll put back the rubber gasket. So now it looks like this. So you pretty much replaced, just make sure you have it in there evenly, and the rubber gasket is pushed all the way to the bottom so that you don't have any leaks. So just like that. Now the next step is to get this secured to the dishwasher. So once this is done, now as you start to tighten this down, so it's just simply just tightens down and this is done by hand. You do not need any tools for this step since you're using this fitting. You're just going to simply tighten this down and as you get tighter, you're going to want to make sure that the the line, this uh, the, the, the fitting itself is pointing in the direction towards your sink. Ours is gonna be going that way. So once you get it in that direction, to avoid it from continuing to spin, just put a hand on it, just hold it, and just tighten this down. So again, don't use any tools here. Just tighten this as much as you can 
tighten and you'll feel it, it'll stop on its own. The rubber gasket that's in there will make the seal that's necessary. So just tighten this as tight as you can possibly go by hand and all the way up until this part is no longer loose. This shouldn't be able to spin in, in any way. Then you know it's nice and tight. So if this is still spinning, you don't have a tight enough connection. This should be nice and tight and not able to spin in any way. Just tighten it as much as, as, as far as it'll go. Then at this point, you're gonna go ahead and grab your steel, stainless steel braided line and go ahead and connect that. And right here, as I said, you can either use an adjustable wrench or a 5 8 inch open wrench. And actually, what I want to point out, one other thing before I get that secured. As you can see in your stainless steel hose, there's, it's actually, it, it has a seal built into it. So you won't need any kind of Teflon or putty for it to seal. It'll actually go ahead, uh, this is a, the thread makes the seal that's necessary. And then the, the gasket that's inside the, the rubber seal will actually seal it up so you don't have any leaks. Once that's there, now just grab your wrench and get that tightened down. You don't want to over tighten these. These are, you know, over tightening them can create a leak for you. So you want to just get it to where it goes. Tighten it by hand as much as you can go and then typically if you go as far as you can by hand you can't even go a full turn to where it's tight, um, you know, fully tight. So we're nice and tight, and um, that's, that's pretty much now this is ready to go. All right, the final step in preparing your dishwasher is going to be getting your mounting brackets added to the dishwasher. In this bag of hardware that included the mounting brackets, you have two sets of screws. So these are they're going to be the ones that are actually used... These, are those, those, these ones are going to be used to secure the dishwasher to either your cabinet or the countertop. And then these are actually used for the kick plate. So they're gold in color. The gold ones are for the kick plate and the silver screws are to actually secure the dishwasher itself. I'm just going to set these aside for right now. So in this step, um, what you're going to be, what you need to consider is whether or not you're going to be securing this. This, uh, this particular dishwasher has the option to do a side mount. So if you have granite countertops or quartz, uh, you know, there are a few different ways of securing it. And one of them is, allows you to do a side mount with this particular dishwasher. So I'm gonna point that out first. So that's not what we're doing here. We're gonna actually be securing this to the bottom of the dishwasher. But I'd like to go ahead and show you what to look for. So in right here where the dishwasher, you got these little tabs. That pretty much pops out. You just use like a flathead screwdriver to get that out. And once that pops out, that's gonna give you the access hole so that you can run the screw through there for the bracket. And then what happens is you're gonna take this and it has a, a pre-drilled slot right there. So this goes just like this and then it goes like that. And then what happens is when you run the screw through the inside access, it ends up securing right here. So what you could do now is go ahead, I'll point this just for an easier visual. This bracket, as you can see, move it back a little bit, it's, got, it's perforated right there. So just, if you're doing a side mount, you can go ahead and separate this. But before doing that, make sure that when you have this here and the dishwasher is in the space that it's in, just so that you don't you know, ruin this bracket, because you have multiple options. You can either secure it through the access through the hole, or if you don't have a filler piece in this portion, you're not gonna have access, then that's just gonna be flapping back here. You can also then use these front holes. Again, you got a few different tabs that you could utilize um, so that you could secure it to the, the side of the cabinet. Um, so you could use these. So before doing that, I recommend waiting until you know exactly where the, the dishwasher is going to be placed. Then adjust this based on um, your your setup. You know, the, based on your setup there. But as I said, we're going to be doing a top mount, but a uh, top uh, a top mount inst uh, installation. So I'll show you that. That's going to be as simple as this. All you're going to do is you also once again you have a couple 
slots that these will slide into. It just simply goes right in through here and up just like that on both sides. And that's it. There's nothing further that you need to do here. It just gets it in place. And once we slide the dishwasher in place, um, if we find that for whatever reason, these, this tab is too long, we don't need any, then we can cut it off. I don't recommend doing anything at this point until you know exactly where the dishwasher is going to be secured and then we can make the adjustment. So we went over everything from mounting the dishwasher to how we're going to do the electrical connection, then your drain hose, as we discussed, your drain is directly attached from the Samsung factory for on Samsung dishwashers, nothing further to do at this point, and then adding the fitting and the supply line for your water supply. So dishwasher, the dishwasher at this point is ready to start, to, we can start the installation process and sliding it in place.